Hi everyone. This is um, a lovely book card which is one of my favourites um, to do because you actually um, can do it just from stuff that you've got in um, at home um, without any um, cost of stencils or anything. So this is one that I've done with um, a die cut um, border and some decoupage flowers and some peel-offs. This is another one which I've just used a picture and some peel-offs and this one I can adapt for sympathy card by adding a little dove. Um, I could add This is a ship in a bottle. I rather like it just with nothing, just with the view of the um, sea, because I, I live near the sea and so it's very precious. And this one is a Joanna Sheen um, die cut of a beach hut and you also get the seagull with it. So you can see how you can change anything from just the basic card and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So first of all I've got a bit of adorable scorable and I'm going to place it on my um, scoreboard and I'm going to come down at 15 and I'm also going to come down at 18 all the way down. I'm going to turn it so that it's portrait and I'm going to come down three centimetres, one, two, three, and I'm going to come down as far as my first scored line. So if you can see, if I can get the light right, I've got a line that comes all the way down and I've got a line now that goes across and stops at this. If you ever go over, um, you can just push it down and then the mistakes disappeared. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is to take my scissors and I'm carefully going to cut along, leaving the embossed line on there till I get to there and then I'm going to scoop up to the top. So on this panel at the side it's just a gentle scoop. Place that over. Now when you score on a scoreboard you can be a quarter of an inch out according to which way your card bends. Right. This is quite a hefty card so I'm going to hold it in place and if you score again it will go down the centre of your score line. Right, so we have now the top of our book. You're going to keep this because this is that your way to do your card um, every time. So we're going to take that from there, bring it down and line it up with the bottom of the card. So I'm looking that this matches this side and this line is the same. And I'm going to take my pencil and do that same line up there. I'm then going to slide it back up and out to the side and I'm going to colour that in. I'm going to take my score line and match it up with the edge of the page and I'm going to mark that in too. So I'm going to trim that one off and I'm going to trim that one off. Right, there is our book. How simple was that? 
Now we're going to take our ruler and I tend to use a crayon. You can use gold pens if you wish and just randomly I'm doing lines to represent the pages. Now it doesn't matter if they're not straight, it all adds to the effect of the book that some of the pages are opening. So I've gone for that now and I take a baby wipe and I simply wipe through and you'll just be left with a very faint look of pages. So if I can get that in focus. So you've got a, a faint tinge of papers across there. Now we need to decorate. If you want to do um, lines on the side of the spine, it's a matter of simply fold it, uh, bringing this down, get the fold matched up and this score line and do the same. It's not a precise measurement but you can see now I can embellish that. Let's go with that. I'm going to switch off see if that's any better. That is a little bit better. So you can now see that we've got the line down the spine if you want to do that extra bit. Right, the pictures that I'm going to put on here is to make a man's card and I've got a background here so what I can do now is to place double-sided Do three strips down there. This is so quick and easy. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to match down the score line to there. Turn it over and I can trim the excess. There's the front page, the front bit of my book completed, and then I've got a couple of pieces to go on the front. So I'm going to put them all with a little mat. Now I never try and cut my mats different sizes. I have macular degeneration, and if I looked at something too quickly it all goes out of focus. So my way of coping with that is to go on there, take, take my picture and I place it down and on this occasion I'm just leaving a straight border, I'm going to trim that a little bit better in a minute. And it's already fixed down in place so now I can take my scissors and simply cut and now my picture I had I couldn't turn it the other way on my piece so now I haven't got enough there we go haven't got enough to put the same board around here. So what I tend to do now is I will put four pieces across there. to use 
this bit here and this straight edge that I know is right I will put across there and chop a bit off. Using the same straight edge I'm going to turn it round, match that up there and press down. Now I can come and trim round Think of all the pieces that you've thrown away because you think they're too small. Right, so nobody is going to know that I've made that out of two pieces. I should have a little greeting. Here we go. I'm going to take fancy scissors and just do a fancy edge again no complicated measuring or anything I'm going to attach this one with hot glue so I'm trying to keep it a very quick video and I'm putting that one there I'm going to put this one down the bottom and this one I'm going to put in this corner. So I'm going to place that so that I've now broken all the lines there and there is our book. So that is rather pale so I'm going to come back and do a few more lines So that's how easy it is to make a book card and you don't need any special um, dies, you don't need any special um, templates or anything. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed my video.